Welcome back to the channel everyone, I hope you are doing absolutely well, this is the AT back with another video. So today it is gonna be the review of the AEX ROM based on Android 9.0 Pi official for the Redmi Note 3. So without any further ado, let's now get started. So here is my Redmi Note 3 running the AOSP ROM, AOSP extended ROM and it is also called as AEX ROM obviously. As you can see here is the app drawer and this is the launcher. So it comes with two launchers, pixel launcher and the quick step launcher. I have set pixel launcher as my default launcher here and it also comes with the AEX paper. By the way guys, there isn't any major difference. I have already reviewed the AEX ROM previously on my channel. Link would be in the description, you can check it out. As you can see, so it also comes with its default music player, the retro music player and the sound output remains pretty much similar to the previous versions. There isn't any upgrade in terms of sound output in this room. The camera app is again the similar camera app which we have seen in some other rooms too. This is the camera app where you get lots and lots of options as you can see. You can control like each and everything from here like picture quality, picture size, also the exposure, white balance etc as you can see so let me try 4k video recording really quick because it had bugs in some rooms uhd 4k and it works fine as you can see let us try this thing yep that error continues in this room too when you tap on the screen while recording a 4k video it gives force closes let me show you the settings menu of this room really quick the about device section going into the about phone and the android version as you can see this is the AX ROM based on Android Pi, latest build and the security patch level is of June 5, 2019. The kernel here is the Xcrema X27 kernel. Okay, I think so there's a force close over here. Yes, there was a force close in the settings. That's weird because that was the first time actually. It didn't happen to me previously. Let me check once again. Nope. Okay, let's carry on. As you can see, the kernel here is the Xcrema X27 kernel version 3.10.108. And if you want any other details, you can pause the screen and have a look at it. So going back and talking about a few other things like the system menu, it remains pretty much similar again. So going into the system updates, I'm not sure whether it is working or not, but it should work as this is an official build. This is the latest build until the time of recording this video. I'll check that and I'll have a screenshot on my Instagram stories. Do follow me on Instagram. I'm active over there. You can ask me any questions regarding any rooms or any questions regarding tech. So going into the security and location, fingerprint scanner is working absolutely well. Let me show you the speed of it really quick. As you can see, works well. Not the fastest, but it works fine. I don't know about your Goodix device, sorry for that. Going into the extensions, here are all the customization options. As I told you earlier, I have reviewed all of these in ton of other ROM reviews. Some links will be in the description, so others you can check my channel. So going into the status bar, as you can see, you can control pretty much whatever you want on the status bar. Battery bar is here, so no need to enable that because I don't like that. Going into the traffic monitor, you can enable this. It will show your current upload and download speed. That's really great. Going into the clock settings, as you can see, you can customize your clock a little bit. So show clock and date is enabled over here. You can enable seconds like that. You can also enable AM and PM in small or normal font. You can also enable date in small or normal font, as you can see. Now the clock looks a little bit better. But if you want, you can also change the date format from here, as you can see. Also the position of the clock, it's on left, you can put it to right. Okay, as you can see, the date has been changed, but there isn't any option to change the complete position of the clock. Let us see that. Let me put that to left and okay, going into status bar items, default things are present there. No guys, there isn't any option to change the alignment of the clock completely towards the right or in the center. So that, so that option is present in some other rooms, you can check it out. So going back and talking about a few other things like the navigation bar, you can enable on-screen navigation buttons from here, as you can see. Works well. But I don't need that because I have good looking keys here. I like that. For further information, you can check the links in the description or check my channel if you want more information regarding the customization options. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. Everything is working absolutely well. I didn't have any issues with those. And talking about other things like the performance in this room. So let me show you my last Geekbench score really quick. Android isn't running as usual. So going into the Geekbench and the history. As you can see, here is the score. 
single core score is 1455 and the multi core score is 3206 all these scores are pretty much high enough as you can see the multi core score is really dope over here 3206 that's really awesome and even the single core score is pretty much good 1455 whereas some other rooms were able to score 1500 but the multi core score was way less than this thing this is able to score 3206 talking about general performance it's good it's good for most of the part but i had seen some noticeable lags after the first boot of the room for like five hours i think Whenever I use the phone running this ROM for like 5 hours after installing this ROM, as you can see, I think you saw on the screen, I am not sure whether the camera captured that or not, there was a slight lag, noticeable lag. So that was one thing which I noticed with this ROM. When you keep lots of apps in the memory, as you can see, there is only 3 apps here. But if you keep more apps in the memory, then there are slight lags here and there, which are not major lags, but yeah, they are noticeable. So talking about the battery life in this ROM, let me show you the battery state really quick. So going into the battery and the battery usage as you can see when i first booted the rom the device was somewhere around 95 percent of charge later i played pubg for around 40 minutes yesterday there the battery drain was somewhere around 18 to 20 percent that's pretty high battery drain as per me and even the performance was not that great as you can see on the screen i am running pubg here but it's not that great guys there are far better roms in terms of pubg gameplay for the redmi note 3 it's lagging a little bit and after extended usage after playing it for like one hour plus then it becomes extremely laggy yes it becomes extremely laggy at the end moment while you are playing pubg that's one thing which i noticed so talking about other things like i use music player google play store share it for a couple of minutes mixed usage over there there the battery drain was somewhere around i think so 10 percent not more than that but talking about the standby time in this room it had just drained four percent of battery for around 14 hours of standby and guys all these are just approximates i'll have a screenshot on my instagram stories tomorrow after this device has come down to zero percent you can check it out so you can follow me on instagram at all about technology 24 into 7 link is in the description in a nutshell the battery life is not the best or not the worst it's kind of in the middle or average you can say but for most of the part, the battery life was good enough. You can use this ROM as a daily driver. I'm not telling that you can't use this ROM as a daily driver, but there are better ROMs in terms of battery life and also in terms of PUBG gameplay. So this was a quick little review of the AEX ROM or the AOSP extended ROM running on the Redmi Note 3. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also do follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm active over there. You can ask me any questions regarding tech. This is all about technology 24 to 7. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.